Hey everybody, Mr. Ruffles here from BruceGamers.com. We're going to check out this Plastic Craft Games uh, train. This is a 15 millimeter version. You can use it for like World War II or like the Team Yankee World War III stuff. Uh, this is the colored. Um, they do make them non-colored where it's just the white plastic. Uh, then you can paint them as you need them. $13.95 at the local gaming store. So let's take a look inside. Here. So this is the components here inside. As you see, uh, it's more so kind of just printed right on. Uh, this is probably what the base color would more look like with the uncolored stuff. Um, it's like a plastic, um, not really a foam board, but more of the plastic. Like I say, they got the window cutouts um, that you can put the windows and stuff on, uh, which you can see in right here in the kits there. Yeah, give a little detail of the window. It does have a little plastic on there, so it's not just the open cut hole. There is a little plastic over, which you can kind of see on the back side, I believe. There, on the other side, here's your roof. Uh, it's got kind of a kerf in it for you for the bending, I assume, once you put it together. More walls there for sides. Little doorways, arches, windows looks like you knock out. Um, another window pieces. Uh, looks like some trim uh, brick that goes around it. Look, these are probably your floor pieces right here. Uh, same thing, just uh, everything's printed on one side of it. Same with this piece. And you got another two little window pieces and then the little like uh, storefront part out here. And as the back does show on this, you can also have the, this would be the ground floor, I would assume, here. And then the, the open second top with the roof you can take off there. And uh, going to put it together. Um, probably think super glue would be all right, but I'll, I'll check. Maybe there's something else I should use better before I put it together. But I'm going to put it together, and we'll come back when it's together. All right. All right, we're back with the finished product here. Uh, <laughs> it took me about maybe 15, 20 minutes to put it together and just use some uh, the old uh, what is this, Bob Smith brand super glue uh, stuff in secure. Uh, just make sure you got everything lined up correctly if you are putting together the super glue as it will create a bond pretty quickly. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, so this is it right here. This is the sub base here. I suppose you could use it for as a, the ruined building when it blows up. Um, you can also Leave it on the bottom, but as you see, this part here uh, is made to stick out a little bit under there. So you get a, you're gonna have a little bit of a gap down there if you don't use that. Now it doesn't sit perfect in there. Uh, it's a little loose, which is not bad. Uh, but you can tell it's not. Obviously, there's nothing to keep it from that way going in and out. Uh, the windows basically you just glue them in right there. That's how I did it for the windows. No big deal. Um, uh, one of the downsides, obviously, uh, you have the raw edges on the parts, like the roof and stuff like that. Now, you could probably cut that and maybe file these little nubs down here, and that's where the roof was uh, kind of curved together enough so you can snap it apart. Uh, and then on the side, too, you have the raw edges here. Uh, this is the floor piece here, and then the wall here, you have the raw. You could always come back and Hit it with a paintbrush, you know, make it match up a little more if you wanted. Um, the back side, same thing, where it goes. It went together fairly decent. Um, there was some parts here, like you can see a little gap here. And then uh, this part here isn't perfectly flush. Um, I don't know if that's just, as you can tell, the floor, bore base for the second floor. Everything is totally flush there. Um, so I don't know if that was just... Something was maybe miscut a little bit or something like that. That That's why you have a gap or whatever on it. I couldn't squeeze it in any better. Uh, same thing with this piece right here. Um, kind of sticks out just a little bit here. Um, I don't know, maybe, as you can see, there's a gap right there. I don't know, maybe if, if this was just a little too big, it needed to be trimmed down a little bit, but... I didn't take any time to do anything, I just slapped it together uh, pretty quickly. There's no instructions, but it was a smaller building. Obviously, everything you can get by the picture there. I know they do make some bigger stuff uh, in this style terrain. 
I'm not sure if that comes with instructions, but everything you can tell right by the picture and kind of the way everything fit. Uh, and then the roof piece is made to come out here. So you can have access to the second floor if you want to put your troops or something in there. And like I say, these little nubs or stuff is that you can always take the time to either sand those down or, or maybe take a little exact, really sharp exacto knife because it is a little bit more of a hard plastic. Same thing here. You could probably file those down with a file or something on that piece. Well, then that just snaps right in there. Uh, kind of fits in the roof pieces there. Boom. Like so. Um, pretty, it's not going to go in, but I mean, you can bump it out or back or whatever. Um, but overall, fairly decent for the price of, you know, 14 bucks. Um, fairly decent train. I know I, I built some foreground stuff that's made out of the, the wood. Um, I haven't made it in the 15 mil, but I've made it in the 20 millimeter foreground stuff, and that is pretty uh, nice stuff too. This is really nice quality stuff. Like I say, you got the raw edges, but I know you also do run into that with the foreground. Um, some of the foreground stuff also, but nothing that you can hit with uh, paint and a brush if you really wanted to cover that up close enough to match match it. But I mean, you can't beat the price, you know, for what you're getting. Uh, for something like this, if you're looking for train for Flames of War or any other uh, 15 millimeter thing, you can use it for futuristic or you know World War II, whatever, whatever you think you can do. But uh, but yeah, that's that's that, and this is just all the junk from popping it out. They popped out pretty easy on the thing. There were two pieces that wasn't perforated enough that I had to come and cut through with exacto knife. I uh, just you want a sharper blade, obviously, because it is. I said plastic it's not like a foam uh, board it's more of a harder a harder kind of plastic as it says so uh, that's it all right uh, hopefully I maybe I'll get another one here and uh, eventually I'm looking forward to do a uh, foreground one too I'll put together for you guys all right bye bye